Hello, everybody. Frank Stacio here, host of the State of Things on North Carolina Public Radio, WNC, live streaming here on Facebook so that you can see the microbes come off my body in real time. This is, this is a rare event. Every time I come up here, I'm at the Museum of Natural Sciences, and I'm in the research lab, actually the microbiology research lab, and I'm here with Julie Horvath, who is the head of microbiology research lab and genomics right here, and, and many other things, too. You've got uh, appointments all over the region. Tell us what else you do. Well, thank you. So I am jointly appointed at North Carolina Central University in the Biological and Biomedical Sciences Department, and then I also have an adjunct position at Duke University in evolutionary anthropology, and I'm a member of the Comparative Medicine Institute at North Carolina State University. That alone says something about what's going on here at the Museum of Natural Sciences which and, and in these laboratories, which is this integrated approach to research that's also a very public approach. A lot of people out there with their iPhones waiting to snap a shot of my hairy armpit, you know, and they can do that here. And so I think it's one of the great things about what you're doing here. So the last time I was here, uh, you took a face mite from my face. One and of my colleagues did, yes. And, and, and we looked at it. Not By the way, I still miss them. I bet you do. They're very fun. We like them. They are. And, you know, and it's not like I know I have more, but it's, you know, like when Fluffy goes just because you bought Spot, it's rough. But today you're going to take, take microbes from me, or I'm going to actually give them to you. I think it's just cleaner that way. Yeah. Uh, what, tell us about them. What, what do we learn from microbes? Why do we want them? Well, many of them are good for us. Some of them help us digest food or make vitamins on our body. Um, the ones on your skin protect your skin from some of the pathogenic microbes that might cause disease. And so they're beneficial in a lot of ways, and we're trying to learn more about them here. So beneficial, in fact, that about half of us, I mean, we know three-quarters of us is water. Okay, the non-water part that's left over of us, about half of that isn't us, right? It's microbes. So we're a kind of a, a living ecosystem rather than a, than a and a person in the way we kind of conceive ourselves, right? Yes, we definitely are an ecosystem, and that's one of the things that we find so really cool and fascinating. So we want to engage the public in learning about this ecosystem on our bodies. And the way you engage that is there's an exhibit coming up in which you will be able to not only watch me take the microbes from my body, but, but see what happened to them, right? Tell us about the exhibit. Yeah, great. So it's The Secret World Inside You is what it's called. The American Museum of Natural History created it in consultation with people from the museum and Rob Dunn's lab and Holly Manager at NC State. And they've now got this traveling exhibit, and the first stop it's making is to our museum here. So it's going to come on October 22nd, and it'll be a really fun event. We're going to have a lot of other creative events around it. It'll be here for about six months, and so we encourage you and others to come back and meet your microbes. You'll be able to see the microbes, and, and again, I, I guess you won't watch them necessarily through time. You'll just sort of see what, what they look like, right? Correct. So what's going to happen right now? You need microbes from me. Yes. That's true. I do. And uh, so I need to do something about that. You do. Mm -hmm. Now. Yes, because we're going to take them from your armpits. On, on, the, on the live Internet. Yes. All right, in for a penny, in for a pound. Would you hold this while of I course. disrobe? Of course. Uh, naked kitten. I'm just wanting to get clicks. Yes, yes. All right, here we go. This is it. This is as good as it gets, folks. Awesome. And uh, I'm sorry, it just doesn't get any better than this. All right, now, uh, it, well, okay, hang on to that. I'll take it back for a moment, but okay. what do I do now that I'm embarrassing well, myself? I am huh? going to hand you a swab. So I'm going to swab give this, to you. this is two rayon swabs. So we call this a dual tip swab. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is take it, only hold the red cap. There are long sticks in there. Don't touch the sticks, just touch the cap. Mm -hmm. Take the cap, and you're going to put the sticks in your armpit in the middle part, and we're going to sing the ABCs or talk for about a minute. Mm -hmm. And somebody back there can maybe time us. Okay, so a minute. One, one swap wow. for about a minute. 45 to 60 Are seconds. the microbes going to try to run away? I mean, do they know what's going to happen to oh, them? Yeah. They're going to mm -hmm. escape? And yeah, i got to get like... have to hold them on there? No. All right, all right. They're good, they're good. Okay. So the microbes from your armpit are going to transfer onto this swab. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to then give those to me, and I'm going to grow them in my lab. All right. Because Should you have a on. hazmat suit on or anything? Just... Yeah. Mm. All right, here we go. Only the red tip. Yep, only the red tip. I got a double. And now we're going to go under the left armpit. Do you want me to hold? Yeah, you hold that because I don't know that I can actually talk and swab at the same time. I've never really tried that. Okay, so here we go. Right into the deep. <laughs> swab the armpit. Yes. This is the, uh, is there a difference, do you think, between my left and right? I think there might be a little bit of a difference. I actually have a big difference between mine. Other people have a difference. Not everybody does. I wonder if they vote differently. They do you think the left armpit is... Voting for yeah. Hillary in the right well, armpit is a Trump. I got Trump. I got Trump microbes under the right. That'd be kind of cool. And left and Hillary microbes here, and you can see them. Do they fight? 
Well, they, some of them do. Yes, they compete against each other for resources sometimes. Mm -hmm. Some of them work together, but some of them do compete. Whoa, so we have microbores. Like, does it mat? Do you know if it matters which part of the body? Like, would my my armpit microbes wouldn't fight necessarily, but if they ever met an ear microbe, maybe maybe more fights. You want to try that? We could well, do that. Let's too. let's do it. We used to do that with you know like grasshoppers. You'd put them in a jar. We were kind of mean as boys, uh, and uh, we'd watch them. But they never fought. Thing is, grasshoppers. I was thinking, why should I fight? I'm in a I'm in a jar. They're feeding me. What's the fight? All right, you need to multitask here. So keep swabbing. While All right, you're what what well. Okay. How are we doing on time? We're good? Arr. All right, you're done. So, oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. This and is, this that, is that's great. That's what we want to see. That's wow. right. Perfect. This okay. is, uh, okay, okay we're in there. In, there. in we go. Ooh, yeah. Looks like some of the three stooges there. All right, you still have the mic. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold it, so I'll I'll hold hold it again. I'm going to put it this Actually, down. it's kind of fun. I thought we would bit that, but it's kind of a nice thing. Right. Yeah, and you have to label that. We will. It comes back from the lab as somebody else. We won't know. We need to learn your microbes. Stuff. Do they, and do they look radically different from person to person? They're all kind of the some same. Some of them do. Really? So we can look at some plates in a few minutes, and you can see some of them look different. Um, a lot of them under your armpit are different types of staph and carinibacterium, and those look like little white colonies on a plate, um, maybe a little bit yellowish color. So yeah. very similar, but there are some really cool-looking ones, and so we'll look at some plates in a few minutes. So they're having a, a staff meeting. Yes. Mm. So that's hilarious. So many jokes. See, aren't they great? All right. Uh, and what are the what do we go ahead and you can pull that out and I can get going. You hold this and I'll ask you another question. And and then tip that toward you, I think. Are, are we getting good me? audio? Like because I know yeah, when you answer. Right. So my question is, uh, what do you suppose they're doing under my arm? What, do they have a particular function, do you think? What well, are they doing? They have a lot of different functions. So like I said, some of them are a protective barrier mm. and some of them are there to make odors. So a lot of the microbes, so your sweat doesn't have uh, me right yeah, yeah. um so your sweat doesn't have any odor it's doing, it's odorless that's you true you are i know i can't do your job no i was trained as a scientist i'm sorry folks <laughs> um so so a lot of them under your armpit and elsewhere on your body are producing odors these are these chemical metabolites so products of metabolism so um your sweat is their food so they drink eat your sweat and then they make these odors and they give off odors and so that's one of the reasons we study the armpit because a lot of primates i actually study primates as well um, and i'm interested in primates and scent communication and so these microbes on your skin are the ones that make your odors, and those are really important in primate communication. So that's one of the reasons we started studying armpits, also because who doesn't love armpits, right? Everybody loves armpits. It engages all sorts of people. Oh, look at that nice shot. Uh-huh. Can you zoom in on that? Um, yeah, so, so mostly what we're collecting today is going to be bacteria under your armpit. Um, but microbes also include a lot, of the, a lot of other organisms like fungi and archaea and a lot of other tiny microscopic things What's we can't see. It's an extreme organism, and a lot of them live in deep thermal vents, but it turns out some of them also live on human skin. How do they get to me? That is a great question. We don't know. Wow. This is, all right, so what do you think? That looks good. I'll that, give that back to you, see if I can take the red cap. Got Thank that. You. Okay. This is great. So you, so you answered my other question, which is what are microbes? They're mostly bacteria, but they can be these other things as well, well including stuff that somehow made the leap from a, this rare environment to... There's also an exhibit down there with a sweet potato that has some gene from a thermal vent. Like, how'd, how'd that happen? So this is what you're studying. Some of the things we're studying, yes. Wow. And the odor is kind of great because not only does it... I mean, it, it works in attraction and communication. It also is really because we're slow and weak as a species. It kept us alive, right? Because, like, who wants to eat... If you can have... A zebra. Why would you take a, a primate? They smell bad. That's true. I think that's. I've heard that conversation many times. Okay. This, so this is it, right? I can put my shirt you on. You can put your shirt back on. Would you like me to hold the mic? You can do that. I want to thank you, Julie Julie Horvath, who is the head of the Genomics uh, Research Lab and Microbiology Lab here at the Museum of Natural Sciences, with joint appointments at universities all across the Triangle, and that's all good stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Thank is, you. is there any money in my putting the shirt back on? That's that's not. Who wants to see me put the shirt on? Do we? No. Thanks, folks. Uh, thank thank you. you.